Hey, what's up YouTube land? Eddie Hill, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people! And today, we will be reviewing Transformers War for Cybertron Siege Ultra Magnus. But before we review Magnus himself, we're going to look at his box. Some nice artwork of Magnus. I love it. War for Cybertron Siege. And yes, this box is battered because I got this figure for 30 bucks. Transformers. Generations. Takara Tomy. The Ark. And some other Transformers like Sideswipe, Chromia, Optimus. Can't even make out the rest of these. And here we got a product shot of Magnus and his trailer and Magnus in prime form. And the other figure we don't have is Shockwave and Springer. But I am going to try to get my hands on those. Springer, Shockwave, to complete my Siege collection and then I can move on to Earthrise. Well that's all there is to say. For the packaging, and Magnus rolls like rolling things should, and his cab is nicely painted, the trailer is nicely painted, you could totally pull these guns up to give them some more vehicle armaments, it's a thing you can do if you want, but now we're going to get down to transformation. Unpeg these guns. Unpeg his missiles. Open up this side to release the other parts of Magnus. Unpeg from the cab section which fell out pretty nicely. Unpeg the other end. Unpeg the legs and the shoulder pieces. But we're going to push these other pieces off to the side. Because first, we're going to look at Ultra Magnus's prime form. And given I have Ultra Magnus slash Optimus Prime repaint, I'll probably compare him next to the white Optimus Prime I got. Or Ultra Magnus, if you want to be Pacific. I originally saw the white version of Optimus in IDW. Which is Ultra Magnus. For all you fans out there. But there we have... Ultra Magnus in his Prime form. In his Optimus Prime repaint form, which is pretty cool. I like it. Even the face is really well done. The red eyes, the blue mouth plate. That is cool by my standards. You can give him his Magnus gun if you want him to hold that. It's a thing you can do. But now we're going to get down to comparison. So I'm going to go to my shelf. Give me a second. Sorry about that. I may have hit the tripod a little bit. But here he is next to... Universe Classics, Ultra Magnus, or the Optimus Prime re-release. And they look interesting together. If you like the shell mode of G1, and you're a G1 nostalgia. But I dig it. I really do. Now we're going to transform him to Ultra Magnus himself. We're going to 
unpeg that flip in his head and we're going to start transforming him which is very simple let's start on the legs because that's always fun always fun If I can get him to completely transform properly. I think I'm going to have to hybrid transform this dude. Or maybe I got it with a bit of struggling. So there we got a Magnus leg all done. And there we got another, another Magnus leg done. This figure can be a little bit fussy. Sorry if I pause for a while. I tend to do that when figuring out complex transformations. Fold up this to form his chest. We're going to Going to connect this to the top, like so. And there we got the upper half of Ultra Magnus ready to go. So far he's coming along nice and spookly. Sorry if I have to adjust the tripod quite a bit. He is pretty tall. Now we're going to work on his arms, so... And I dropped his little shoulder pad arm things. <laughs> and there we got Magnus's arm ready to go. So far, so good. And I haven't even stuttered whatsoever. That's a first. And there we got Magnus's other arm. Ready to go. Now we're going to work on his shoulder pads. We're going to... Tab everything in. Like so. And it's going smoother than I expected. And there we have Ultra Magnus in his robot mode. And this figure is very impressive, very sturdy, very good looking in the paint sculpt. Even the head is accurate to Ultra Magnus. I'm going to give him his gun. And last but not least, his last bit of G1 accuracy with his missile shoulders. And look at that. Magnus in all his glory. Ready to fight for Cybertron. Yep. And this is the best looking Magnus I own and close to the G1 toy as possible. This is pretty cool. But now we're gonna get down to comparison. Here he is next to my only other Magnus. It's animated 
Magnus in his robot mode. And they look great together for an old Magnus compared to a recent, you know, recent Magnus to me. They are releasing a more G1 accurate truck mode with Transformers Kingdom. Yeah, we are getting him in Kingdom. Another Magnus. Probably wondering, where did I get this? I got this from Amazon for 30 bucks. You can probably find it maybe on eBay for a good price. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out.